So today I'm going to do a tour of Peniston. I thought I'd show you the wonderful surrounding countryside. It's in the setting. You can see the railway right up down there. It's quite some splendid feature. And I'll just uh, pop across and show you the church as well. See the church right in the middle of the town centre there and I go down to the church as well and then I'll zoom out now and I'll show you the absolute wonderful countryside round here and the setting of Penister. The only blight is Tully to be land up there. There's lots of beautiful farmland round here. So just sit back now and enjoy the tour of Peniston. So I've come to film something different today. I'm at Peniston which is just north of Sheffield. Now I'm not sure if it's part of Sheffield but, but it's uh, in the constituency of Stocksbridge and Peniston which has a Tory candidate or it's had a Tory uh, MP. But you can see the type of buildings around here and let's hope it's a positive video today. Peniston Library there. But the old part of the town's built in more traditional stone as you can see. We're just walking down to the town centre now. I've already noticed them my dentist. I didn't think uh, the modern world did it, Peniston, but I'm wrong. <laughs> I've even seen a Greg's as well. But the countryside driving up to Peniston is absolutely beautiful. Wish I could have captured that in the video. It's, uh, If you're from Peniston, you can probably tell me a bit more about your town. Noticed a few little new shops here as well. said time I was caught up with Peniston we've got a my dentist they're everywhere well, I've never been here in my life so it's a new one on me yeah uh, well like I said there's a Greg's here Oh, just there. And then we've got a spa just across here before we get onto the main bit of High Street. There is a 
I know a traditional market area, but I think it's modern, a modern build, so I'll have a look at it as I get round. But I'm guessing it's a probably a more affluent area around here with them both in Torium. But folks, go on better next time. Don't vote better than the Tories, not Labour either. Vote better than the Tories. Just nip across the road. Certainly well kept round here, as you can see. Yeah, it's fresh here as well. Yeah, so I've parked down there and I'll come back to this area in a bit. This is the station down here and also the Penistone Paramount Cinema. Certainly nice and traditional. So just looking there, looks like an old bank to me, probably Midland, somebody can probably tell me if they're from Peniston. But it's a quirky interesting place, it's a shame more of us towns don't look like this anymore. I'm sure Andy will be pleased today that it's a longer video. I think it's probably a little bit geared up towards tourism as well. Let's see what's down here. I think I'm probably moving away from the town centre down here, but this is a bit of a shocker, folks. A police station. Just see the countryside round here. I'm just zooming over. It's wedged in the beautiful countryside. I have a big bee in my bonnet about policing. It's not working because it's not been done properly. I'll just 
show you the police station just here. Unless you are visible out on the streets, policing won't work. Won't work from behind keyboards. And I was a bit upset the other day because Labour were blaming the Tories for the lack of the policing on the streets and whatever in Rother Valley. And I had to go into their campaign office and say that's a load of rubbish because Alan Billings, our Police and Crimes Commissioner, is the one that totally supports the Chief Constable. With the modern day policing that's not working. The Labour Police and Crimes Commissioners are the problem reason for a lot of the problems with policing with their agenda blaming it on the Tories when I'm not going to vote Tory but it's certainly not the Tories a lot of the time with the policing I noticed a Tesco, I think a Tesco up there yeah, I thought I saw a Tesco sorry to say that get across there but lots of knee shops so we're going cold there I can see loads of development going off there if I look pull your under I'm surprised they're getting away with that really. Look at that. Right in the middle of Greenbelt land. Same again, my Tory in Rother Valley, MP's first Tory ever. He's been standing up against building on our Greenbelt, whereas the Labour Control Council just want to build all over our Greenbelt. But I'm not sure about Penniston and Stocksbridge whether one of you is in Sheffield and one of you is in Barnsley or Huddersfield, I don't know. But you've got a common constituency anyway. It's a bit more tasteful type of Tesco, as you can see. They're not being able to get away with one of these modern builds, aren't they? looking for the market area which is not just here <laughs> so what I'm going to have to do is turn around in a moment but that just show you that not all Tesco's have to be these awful modern places it can be a bit more tasteful I've just seen something up here so I'll zoom in now and you can just see it right on the horizon the wind turbines I think should be able to see them anyway. Well, I'm coming back for the market area, which you can just see up here. I'll come back round a different angle to get there. So I think it's a recent modern build market, but it's been built on traditional lines up there. So let's get round to that. So I'm round the back end of Tesco, as you can see, and we've got Penniston Market open every Thursday, every Thursday and Saturday it says on the, the sign. But not see much in there which is a bit sad if it's a Saturday 
see what I can see from up here. So there's the market area. But as far as I know, this is a modern rebuild of a traditional market. Come round. Somebody can tell me when this market hall was built, which I think was only in the last probably 10 years if I'm right. I mean, the area looks extremely affluent. But, I mean, I, what's it, it's about 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 11.30. And you can see the footfall. walk down here now and I'll show you the picture house and Come here. Come here. Come here. fish and chip shop here so uh, £6.50 that's relatively cheap that because the one where I live it's uh, Giorgio's is about 10 quid Butchers and delicatessen there. But it's just a tempter to people to get out and explore. I've never been here in my life. But that's, it's all well painted. Just shows you this is how everywhere used to be, just not plastic and whatever properly well painted buildings that look much nicer got an old fashioned bus shelter here so it's got John the Baptist Church we'll have a quick deco at this it's very quiet. <laughs> so we've got the Penniston Trail here. And I've parked in a free car park somewhere, as I always do. It's just well worth popping out here and having a, a walk around, having a coffee and having a nose in some of the shops. Come and fill the place up from Sheffield, folks. Back in 1985, when I started at Midland Bank, my manager came from Penniston. He used to drive in every day from Penniston. One thing I have actually noticed is I've noticed a Turkish barber already. And Reform have got a bit to say on that. None of the other parties are saying anything about it. 
the reform have actually stuck the head above the parapet and said something about Turkish barbers and sweet shops. Let's have a quick walk in here. So I've just been speaking to a gentleman, so Peniston and Stocksbridge constituents say oh Stocksbridge and Peniston whichever way around it is. One half it's in Sheffield, Stocksbridge, the other half's in Barnsley, Peniston, so it's the right mismatch. See a little bit of symbiology around the Dover. I'm not going to dwell on the church. Church, you can see it looks like very pagan type symbols in that doorway. Get back on and try and show you the cinema and the train station. So I've just walked from the main bit of the town centre just there. You can see the bus stop just here. I'm going to walk back down a little bit further to. The cinema, I just wanted to show you where I am parked because I'm parked right next door to the cinema so you can pop along to Paniston and park there. Another angle on the church. But can anybody tell me how this village has sustained itself because seems to be right in the middle of the countryside there doesn't seem to be any industry or anything I think there were quite a few trains running into it here it may have been multiple lines but I don't know what sustained Peniston in the past it's a beautiful place there's no doubt about it so I've just come back in the churchyard and you can see St John's Gardens Peniston you can stop that screen and have a look at what the obli is is about I'll just show it you you can see the obvious probably didn't pronounce it right but you have to bear with me and there's another board you can stop and have a look at I've just noticed here, I've shown you the modern library and we've got another, well, it's not an, a library anymore but it's the Carnegie Free Library It's a very laid back here. So here we've got the Paramount Peniston Cinema. I've just had a word with them. It holds 340 people this. It's subsidised by the council. And what they said is in school holidays they tend to have two kids films on. Or yeah, two films on for the kids and then one on for the adults in the evening or whatever and that's during school holidays and I think they say there's two films at the weekend something like that but without government without the council funding doubt it carry on but it's really nice to see you you can park here for free Like I said before, there's actually a, a nature trail here. So we've got another fish and chip shop here. I'm just making my way down to the station. I just thought I'd show you the area around here. So the carpet and bed shop here and, and whatever.
so we've got quite a famous football club here, Penniston FC, and let's just see if I can actually show you that. So Penniston Football Club is quite a famous non-league football club and I've just had a word and they're going to let me film in the ground and in the clubhouse so I'll just take you down here. nice to see a, a grass pitch still down in this day and age. My local club, Dinnington, they put down an artificial pitch and they've also put like one of these, mo like a modern portable stand there. It's all well maintained. Just go to this other end and I'll show you the training pictures as well. So the training pitches around here, as you can see, I'll have a quick walk in the clubhouse. It's a beautiful setting though, Paniston in the middle of the uh, countryside. It's got its own hospitality suite. So the clubhouse just here, I think there's a beer garden round the back. So I'm in the uh, clubhouse just here. See, quite nice, isn't it, folks? I'll just pop through to the beer garden, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> So we're in the beer garden at the back, so uh, that's just a quick video on the uh, Penston FC. Support your local football clubs, rather than paying 30 quid down at Hillsborough and Bramalade. <laughs> so I'm by the side of Penniston Railway Station. Have a quick walk up here and see what's left of the station. So I'm round the back of end, end of this station building. It looks like there was a railway line just here, but I'm just going to show you where the railway line now is. These must be the old station buildings. So we've got Penniston wine cellars just here. Everything's still very along traditional lines around here. You can 
see. So the train's just departed. Just like what a railway station should really look like. Proper covers on it, not bus shelters. see proper covers on either side of the station and then just down here so probably the the railway books out there can tell me what this was all about this other definitely looks like there was a line on either side of the platform at one bit so I don't know if that was for another line somewhere that's the only existing line at the moment I'm sure things would be a lot cheaper if we just had paper tickets at the end of the day with all this electronic equipment we now have. I'm sure it costs a lot much more a lot more money. So we've got an Amazon pickup here as well. I'll see if I can find anything else before I wrap the video up. So there's another board on. Transpennine Trail around here, so I think it's probably quite a big up on uh, tourism now rather than anything else. That's probably lifeblood around here. <laughs> 